good evening time everybody hope y'all doing all right tonight this morning whatever it is for you when you're watching please take time to like and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're not already guys if you're learning about the icon you just click subscribe we appreciate you and we need it it helps us out go over and join us on patreon or join our youtube channel either or they're combined or both for the giveaways discounts perks a lot of good stuff going on and uh, check out our merch store shirts, hats, bandanas, dog bandanas, you name it, it's over there. Alright guys, this is kind of a, an odd uh, ordeal right here. This belongs, I'll tell you a little story about it. This belongs to a gentleman that uh, I'm not going to call his name, he might not know his name called. That uh, used to, I talked to and skip all the time. And he bought this off of me, new. And he uh, had a little trouble with it and we put a set of transistors in it. And uh shift it back and forth and now he's had trouble again and this is the first time it's ever happened to me first thing in shipping and i'll tell you what i had to do they tweaked the whole board this way so i had to move it back and i put some lugs on there to grind it down come over here and put a lug over here i moved the tuner from here to there i added some more capacitors output transformers uh tune tune change input tuning uh i went through this thing fine tooth comb but anyway that, ain't, that wasn't the main problem he uh, uh, told me, he said, I think I got a power supply down. He said, hmm. So we got talking. Uh, he checked them all. I told him to take them all loose. He looked at them, turned it on one time, make sure they all light up. And they did, and he still had a power supply down. Well, that don't usually happen. This is where megawatts. Of course, this is 2879Cs. I got thinking about it. Five times four is a uh, 20. That's 200 amps. So by the time he bought them up, it was a little bit less than that. So he was taxing the crap out of them. They were on 110. That's all he's got is 110. So he was taxing the crap out of them. Well, I got to pull them out and I turned them all on. They all come on, of course. We have four. I've never had this happen. They come on. But like this one do eight amps, this one do no amps. And just, I mean, they, would, they wouldn't do the two or three amps a piece. I put a load test on with my load tester up there. So I had one good one's all I had in a whole bunch. So I told y'all the other day I bought these HPs and that's what I bought them for because I had a feeling this was going to happen. And uh, he's been good to me and I like him. I think a lot of this gentleman. So I put him three HPs in there. So he should have, on 220, he'd have 300 amps or a dedicated 110 circuit. But, you know, I don't know how it's going to go on the regular plug. It's have to see. I had these in there real straight to start with. Then I put the strap over and pulled them real tight. And when I did, I pulled them together a little bit, but I'm just gonna leave it. And they're bolted down up here, the two side tape down, plus this strap. And I had to do it because shipping, they're tearing this stuff all to pieces of shipping. When you sent this to me, all these power supplies were broke loose and busted up, it was a mess. Of course, you know what it was, you looked at it too. It got beat up and shipping pretty good. So I wanted to make it like new for you, buddy, the best I could. So long story short, you're running about 15.8 volts. So that's just the resistors I had to convert these, so that's the way it is. And they're installed, and uh, I guess I'll use brand new uh, eight gauge wire to run the power leads. And I moved the tuner back here, run the grounds here. I tuned and tuned, man, I worked this thing over. I got a lot of time in this. Well, you know, you remember what it looked like where I got jarred around shipping, you know what it looks like now. I need to get that little blue off the relay right there. Get that off there in a minute. You know what it looks like now. It looks like 10, 100 times better. So we've got it all fixed up for you, man. Um, let me put the tin on it and come back and uh, we'll do some videos. Oh, yeah, I didn't meant to tell you. I did put thermal protection in it and I've kicked it off a couple times tuning it with no fans. So when it gets so hot, it'll kick off. It won't key up no more. All it'll do is just quit keying. Wait it to cool down. The fans are still run. Wait it to cool down and the light come on. When this light don't come on, it's in thermal mode. That's all you got to do. It's all there's to it. So. That'll help you on transistors. Uh, light everything up, man. Uh, like I said, you know who you are. I don't like calling names. Uh, I've talked to you for years and skipped and thank a lot of you. So We fixed you up, man. I'm going to help you out a little bit on this. But uh, That's why I got the HP. Save us some money. All right, let me put the, let me put the sheet metal on and uh, get it screwed down and everything and come back and we'll do a video of performance review. All right, I'm back, guys. There's one thing that I didn't go over a while ago. Uh, if you ever want to change this thing to 220, 
you don't have to do nothing but change the plug on it. The HPs are auto sensing, so if you want to put it on 220 or whatever you decide to do with it, all you gotta do is put 220 plug in it and go. So I thought you might like to know that. Um, a lot of these guys don't realize, and everybody's done it for years. And I know somebody says, oh, you don't do this, do that. Well, guys, they've been building two by eights on 110 ever since I've been in the business. Now, I don't know about many 10 pills, but they've been building two by eights forever. Back in the day, they talk about what they draw now. Back in the day when they had iron cord transformers, you're talking about drawing some power now. You know, two by eight X forces? Well, they dim over light in the house. So, you know, it's really a good idea to run an independent line or uh, uh, run an independent 110, which we did that. I've run 16 pill base boxes like that before. They were 110. Or run a, a 220 amp plug. Now, you can run as much as you want on 110, guys. Everybody says, oh, 110. But, but, I repeat, but, you got to have an independent line. So, the deal is, like right now, if I hook this box, I start to do it, and I'm going to plug. So, I plug this box up here in this outlet, and it kick off, and kick the 15 amp outlet, and suck more 15, and kick off everything up here. So, but I understand, you know, some of us old guys that have been in this for years now, we didn't have nothing but 110, and, and we used to do it on 110. It's not really a good idea, but we've just been done for years. So anyway, long story short, this this should be on an independent line. I'm gonna leave it on 110, or a big 110 plug, camper plug, or something like that. Anything you know that's got bigger wire in your house, or you can do 220. But uh, I've got it on a 110 line right now, but it's independent, so it won't run out of juice. All right. That being said, let me shut up. We're gonna start out our straight through SWR like we do with the 99. Hello, hello, hey, hello, hello. Input SWR. Hello, one, two, one, two. We got the tune a lot better on this boat. One, two, one, two. All right. This is Radio Drive. Hello, Radio Drive 99. Radio Drive 99. Radio Drive 99. Radio Drive. All right, I'm going to go up here and turn on the baby driver with a little two pill. Now, and I got thinking this wasn't doing enough when I first put it back together, and I thought, wait a minute now, this is C's. So here's a little two-pill. It's going to be 200 peak into it. One, two, one, two, one, two, 196 peak. Okay. 196 peak will get you... Hello, worldwide, 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 24, and some odd change out. On the LP, on the dosage, on the bird, it's a little bit uh, tighter. Hello, 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 what, 21 or 2? So that's what... That's what 200 peak gets you, all right? And I'm gonna turn that off. Go over here and turn the old super baby on. Cause remember now, we're running C's and people don't realize this. 2879 C's will do more PP if you drive them harder, okay? But if you're gonna have a lower drive, regular HG's will beat them. Regular HG's got more DB gain than the C's. But when you sock the drive to the C's, they come on and go, and they'll outrun their HG then. So, so you know, if you've got a low drive, you're better off with regular HG's. And it's hard to beat regular HG's. They have changed the C's three or four times. I don't know if you guys know that. These are 22 DOAs. They started out 18 DOAs. The last one I bought was 23 DOAs. So there's still some work going on on the C's. Even though I've got 64 pills full of 23 DOAs, it works great. But... I was kind of leading me towards that regular HG's, but this thing's hot now. It's good to go. This does have sideband delay, not sideband bias. I remember we talked about this when we built this. You was going to uh, maybe run a radio drive on sideband just a little once in a while. It's not a sideband amp, really, but you could get by doing that. So, that being said, you got 300 amps of supply over here now, if you've got the juice to run it. You got 10, 20, 79 C's. So you want to look at your carrier, it needs to be about 250, somewhere in there, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, 200 would be a good carrier. So, let's see. Let's, I think I've got my carrier set. Let me see what it is. Oh, I was going to show you. I don't know if I showed you the drive or not. Let's see what the carrier start with. 244. That's with 18 watts in. That's pretty good. And um, that's where the 
27 nine C's have got less DB gain. Turn my mic gain up. We'll start out, I'll show you what we're gonna drive it with. Hello, hot two two, hello, hot two two, hello, hot two two. So we're gonna put 150 more peak in it. And that's you know, that's 300 is about realistic. So now let's see what we got. Hello, getting on down, getting on down in a world of sound, my little uh Tim Peel, Tim Peel, Tim Peel, getting on down. Look at that, look at that. So that's the difference when you got the power. Five volt reverse. Hello, Tim Peel, getting on down. It's got a good tune on it. 2500 watt PP. Of course, it should splam it. Hello, Tim Peel, Tim Peel, Tim Peel, Tim Peel in that corner. So. That's some real good numbers right there for a ten pill. Hello, hello, ten pill, ten pill, ten pill, ten pill. And when it gets so hot, it will quit keying. This light will go out, and it just won't key. Hopefully, you won't get it that hot. But if you if you drive it too hard and get it too hot, it's gonna let you know it. Hopefully, that'll save you some transistors. Knock on some wood. Since I've been using thermal protection, I haven't been getting blow transistors back. That don't mean they won't blow, because I know they still will. But it slow, sure slowed it down on returns because they kick off on people instead of eating the transistors so it's helping that right there man that's getting on down for a 10 pill look at that right there one two three one two i'm proud of that i like that one two three one two three i can get stupid and knock it up to more but it just that's just crazy so about 300 peak it likes but you got to keep your carrier set right you can feel back here once in a while see how hot it's getting man when you feel the hot air coming out there you know you need to back off a little bit if you shoot skip or whatever but it should be a lot tougher all the way around. And uh, it should run for you, man. Like I said, I put a lot of time and effort in this. I said the guy that owns it, I think a lot of him, but I just don't call names. So I put a lot of time and effort into really trying to make sure I got like two full nights of working on this, plus the parts. So one more time. Hello, one more time. Two to ten pill, ten pill, ten pill. Get on down. All right, guys, please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not already, uh, click that little subscribe button down in the corner. Come over and join us on Patreon or join us on a YouTube channel, members. Either one or both combined or both. The more you, the more you join, the more uh, chances you get to win uh, monthly giveaways. Next giveaway is 11th. And there's a 5% discount first tier, 10% second tier, and so on. Just have to read it. It tells you. So, I appreciate you guys. I want to say thank you to everybody out there and everybody that's waiting on us to build boxes and stuff. Please be patient. We quit taking orders. We're uh, we're not taking orders or nothing. We're just taking Donkey Stomp repairs. We're gonna play catch up. So anybody out there that's waiting on us, I just want to let you know we we're with you, man. We know you liked your stuff out yesterday, but we just kind of work it in. And we got five or six ten new builds, and so still working on sixty four. It's another shirt. So just bear with us, guys. Uh, we will get you done. All right. One more time for the March Guys. Welcome to my little Tim Peel. Hello, hello, hello. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Your friend Tim, 018 Beavis, Donkey Stomper. Bye-bye, bye. -bye, bye.